All right. In this video, what we are going to do is we are going to configure uh, Audicodes as BC, uh, the basic configuration, uh, so that we'll just verify if uh, our Audicodes is reachable from outside uh, of the internet. And then we'll start with the detailed configuration, what is required for Microsoft Teams to work, right? So this is the very basic setup. So I've just installed Audicodes and now you have to enter the credential uh, so that you know you can log in. So I believe the default credential is uh, admin and admin. Let's see if this works. No, it doesn't work. Uh, let me uh, try to see what is the default credential for audio codes. Okay, so the credential was uh, capital A admin and the password was capital A admin. Now I enable it and the same password capital A admin. So once you enable this, right, so what is the thing that we need to do is we need to configure the IP interface so that, you know, we can uh, uh, log into the audio codes uh, device. Now, in order to configure the IP inter interface, let's see if this works. Config terminal. Okay. Sorry, there was some call which has interrupted me. Uh, sorry, it should not be uh, this. I should be going into uh, config void. Okay, now I should be putting interface network. Let's see what is there. If zero. Okay, so we are into network F0. Now I'll enter the IP address, one IP address, 172.16.0.180, let's say. Uh, this is going to the IP address of our audio codes. And then uh, we'll make it a prefix length of 24. And then uh, we'll enter the gateway as 172.16.0.1. So this is um, this is the gateway and primary DNS 172.16.0.1. Okay, and then let's activate this interface. So this interface is activated. So now let's try to ping uh, the audio codes and see if it is pingable. Okay, so we are able to reach the audio codes uh, device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this uh, on the browser. I think uh, one thing I missed, uh, I think we should be adding, um, you know, making this as uh, OAMP, then only we should be able to browse. Otherwise we'll not be able to. Let me try this 180. Okay. I think this has taken OAMP only. A login as admin. All right, so this is the very basic interface, right? What you see here is uh, this is how you log into the audio code. So at this moment, there is nothing set up. So uh, everything is blank at this time. So first and the foremost, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the default password of audio codes. So let me do one thing. Let me edit this <clears throat> and change the password. All right. And also, also change the user password whatever is there for default okay so now uh, let me do one thing let me um, you know do the call forwarding uh, uh, not call forwarding then let me do the port forwarding on my router to this particular IP address so that whenever we try hitting sbc.usicollaboration.online that should open up this particular interface so we have to do the call for uh, port forward on 443 uh, port number let me do that right now so if you notice now uh, when I try to uh, open the URL sbc.usicollaboration.online now I was able to browse the URL so which means our port forwarding is working fine. So when I try to access this so uh, whenever I try to access like sbc.usicollaboration.online it goes to the uh, domain provider and domain provider results test that to an IP address public IP address of my, our audio codes interface and that's how the audio codes interface is uh, getting opened 
so this is how we do uh, this is uh, something like I have done a port forwarding on the back end on the port port 443 port number and uh, this is how we verified it's working I hope this video is informative for you thank you for watching